It's come to my attention, not all of y'all know that I have a cat named Tulip, so let me have her as my introduction this time. No singing bowl, but hey girl. Hello my beautiful Capricorn, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading, Capricorn. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this tarot reading today, be sure to let me know Capricorn in the comments below which cards do and how they do because that is how I keep up with y'all is through the comments Capricorn. As well, be sure if you do enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe for today Capricorn, I would really appreciate it if you were to give me a like and subscribe because it does help me out a lot to when you do that for me. And I always am super appreciative of it when you do that for me as well. Uh, but also, Capricorn, remember to use your intuition when it comes to receiving this reading today because put it in perspective, darling. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I possibly could. So take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe the tarot cards are just here to give you some food for thought food for thought for today, a perspective for you to consider, Capricorn, but never making the choice in your life because it's your life to live, not mine and not these tarot cards, honey. So with all that being said, Capricorn, let's get into your weekly reading today. Let's see the what's going on in your current life. The card already came flying out for you, Capricorn. So it is the Queen of Water, the Queen of Cups. So I like this energy a lot. So this is an energy of where well, let me just read off the card, Capricorn. This card says, relationships developing into a whole new level, uh, trust your intuition, and caring for yourself and others. So Capricorn, I want to bring up the message right off the bat. Um, for those, and you, there's like a specific situation that you came into this reading about, um, and you're not sure how to, what to make of a certain situation. You're not sure what to make of a person. Now, the obviously Capricorn, to be transparent, the optimistic side of me wants to be like, oh yeah, um, this is like, it's okay to be vulnerable and be open with some type of person that you feel you're not sure about. You're on the fence about. <clears throat> But in this tarot deck, there's no inverted. And so you kind of have to, you know, this is where it's like my intuition coming in more so than anything, Capricorn. Um, this is more so comes in an affirmation of trusting, like, I feel such a strong message in trust your gut feeling, trust your intuition when it comes to someone, whatever that means to you, right? Now go about it logically, Capricorn. Ask yourself the questions. Are you just being manic about it? A little interruption as well. I am doing actually a giveaway for you guys since for hitting 10,000. So if you would like to enter the giveaway, I'm just going to be doing a chance to give someone a chance to have a live reading done with me or a reading done by me, uh, own their own personal reading, whether it's live or recorded. So all the information will be down below. It's a quick, simple process of joining my a new discord and it'll be pretty self-explanatory but yeah let's get back into your reading. that situation or about that person or do you feel like there's some actual substance here why do you have the feelings that you have with this situation right so positive or negative darling right take that as you will you'll you'll know like you will this won't be something that pans out um capricorn you'll know which way to go right so just commit to your feeling right honor your feeling that you're having at this time, Capricorn. So enough of my babbling, darling. Let's get into some clarifying messages for this. We have the Queen of Swords. So definitely this is my card of boundaries, uh, Capricorn. This is my card of where it's just like, you can, there's almost like this sense of where it's just like, mm, like you want to say something to uh, somebody. And yeah, there's almost just like this sense of that you're keeping something at bay, Capricorn. We have the Temperance card in the reverse for you, as well as the Empress card coming in here. Can we get one more, darling? And then the Knight of Wands coming in here in the reverse as well, Capricorn. So, honey, there's... You're seeing someone. You're seeing, seeing someone. You're seeing a situation could be a, I, I'm gonna just speak in situation I don't want to just speak in terms of people because we're not always dealing with people in our lives Capricorn but you're seeing a situation for what it is a way you're just like um it's, it's funny because the other sign earth signs are um it's some like this is like a situation where it's like you see someone for how they are and you're kind of just like in this sense uh Capricorn and I really am starting to feel this Queen of Cups is more so honing in for my people who are kind of just like oh, I don't think this is for me I don't feel like this person's for me I don't feel like this situation's for me there's something that you initially engaged with Capricorn and I feel like you're now kind of pulling out of it because you're just like oh like 
I feel like you identified that I was supposed to teach you something, and I feel like you received the lesson, that you became like you became aware of the lesson, you learned the lesson, what have you, and now that kind of situation is dried up and done for, um, Capricorn. And weird, oddly enough, in this situation, I get this sense that after this portion, we're cutting out from this energy entirely. Like it feels like you're checked out from this more so than anything. Like it almost feels like this portion of the message, uh, Capricorn, just comes in as an affirming message of being like, yeah, cut this, cut this, uh, cut this thing out, cut this uh, energy out, Capricorn. So let's see, let's continue on, darling. Uh, very interesting start, Capricorn. Let's continue on with this journey though, on um, how this looks like for you during this week. So we have the Dreamer card. I love this card for you. You're stepping into a new journey. So I love this, actually, because you talk about you're checked out. Wait, Capricorn, hello. Um, as I was saying, remember, it's like we're checked out, like the chapter's done with. You're starting a new chapter with the Dreamer card. This is the Fool card, and the number is zero. It's always associated with zero because you're starting a new chapter, Capricorn. Ooh, I love it when I'm good at my job, Capricorn. Oh my gosh. Yes, come on now. Um, so... Archangel Metatron, if your spirit, if your spiritual practices are open to it, uh, Capricorn, connect to Archangel Metatron this week. He definitely can help you out. So this card says a leap of faith, following your dreams, an unexpected opportunity, and then you pair this beautifully with the King of Pentacles, the King of Earth. This card says a successful time. Confidently accept the offers that you're given, uh, opportunities that you're offered, and the Midas touch. So this is very much so one of those things of where it's like you can't go wrong this week, Capricorn. Um, as long, the only way that you can go wrong is if this, if you feed energy into like an old chapter in your life, right? Is really all that I feel this as because it's like when you step into this new journey, anything that you do in this new chapter is going to work out. That's what the Midas touch means, right? Anything that you touch turns to gold. Capricorn. So definitely just more so a strong resonation for my Capricorns who just need extra affirmation that the choice of stepping into this new journey, this new chapter is the right choice for them. Um, yeah, so let's get into this deeper. We have the Page of Wands. Yes, <laughs> Capricorn, like without a doubt, you guys are all stepping into a new journey. This is my new fresh start card, Capricorn, where you guys are honoring some type of... Um, how would we say you guys are you identified a new hobby you identified something that you knew that you want to sink your energy into so it's almost interesting it's not it's not almost interesting it's it it is interesting darling to me at least seeing this uh page of wands with that king of pentacles because then if you put those puzzle pieces together it's showing to me here with that opportunity offered fresh start card in that full card huh this is showing to me that it's like almost want to, I want to just say like, this is something that you've built off of. Like you've been preparing for this chapter and it would explain why you already feel check so checked out from this old situation. It's like, I use examples better or analogies better Capricorn. It's like some of you guys got an offer to like move across the country for this job or this wonderful opportunity and you're taking it, right? I feel like it's something big. Like in, not like in, like impactful in your life. Like I feel like it's something pretty drastic with how these cards are setting up. Devil card, yeah. You're leaving like this old situation. You're leaving this devil here. So it's like whether this devil is like that old environment, whether that devil card is like old people. That's, that's I hate using because I feel like toxic is such an overused. Say so talk about toxic, darling, and then I hit my camera. Hello, I hope you're okay, Capricorn. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this devil card here, you're leaving behind insecurity, old things that are just weighing you down, death card, oof, <laughs> Capricorn, baby, my gosh, um, good cards, again, but it's like you're close, <laughs> I don't know, something pissed you off, Capricorn, I don't know, like, this is very much so, you're just leaving everything behind and starting anew, like, you're getting, like, a whole, you're starting a new job, you're changing your name, changing states, changing countries, like, this is just all new energy, complete. Like when, honey, when someone wants a new slate or a clean slate, like this is like the epitome of a clean slate, honey. And then you have the Eight of Cups coming in here. Um, this is actually in the upright. I don't know why I was holding it like this. You have the Eight of Cups coming in here. So this is, again, starting in the new journey, moving into a new direction. Um, 
into the unknown. And I feel like this is part of the reason why you're getting so many affirming cards, really trying to let you know, Capricorn, that it's like, yes, 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 lean into this further, Capricorn. Continue doing this uh, new journey. I know it's intimidating, darling, but um, it'll definitely be worth it for you. So let's see how this turns out. Capricorn, how does this pan out for you after this week? Ten of air. Yeah, closures. This is all talking about closures this week for you, Capricorn. Um, so let me read off this card for you. This card says, the end of a difficult situation, embracing the change and expect things to get better now, recovering from an addiction. So yeah, with the Ten of Swords, it's a closure of some type of cycle. It really is associated with... Um, Again, it's like you finally get a break, Capricorn. Someone like you just catch a break with something and where it's like, as I said before, it's like you get like this really powerful opportunity that really is pivotal um, for you, that changes things for you. Uh, so let's get some clarifiers on this. We have the Six of Cups in the reverse for you. Again, you're leaving the past behind, uh, Capricorn. <laughs> like all your cards, really, you're getting all the cards that are just referencing, like you're leaving the past behind, completely disinterested in the past. I do feel like with the Six of Cups coming forward here, it's gonna be coming, like you, there's gonna be a little bit of resistance, like you're not gonna be able to close the chapter quite e as easily um, as you might have thought right i feel like there might be like they'll try to stay relevant in your life or the situation will try to like fight you back or, like keep you around um in some way nine of wands comes in here in the reverse but there's here's the thing capricorn there's gonna be some type of temptation that almost it's like the um it's like the snake in the uh you know the adam and eve story i can't figure out the oh it's like the snake in um the garden right whereas like you're, you're offered the app you're offered the apple honey and so you're gonna have an apple offered to you of where it's like you choose to stay comfortable where you choose not to go where you choose not to go into stepping into a new chapter entirely for you uh capricorn so definitely be prepared for that seven of swords coming in here with the six of with the six of wands there's definitely something going to be trying to come in and trying to sabotage whether it's whether it's intentional or unintentional virgo so virgo why i call you virgo capricorn capricorn so what i mean by this is where it's like you know like let's use an example you want to move out on your own right you have the opportunity to move out with a friend or move out to california or wherever darling somewhere drastic but it's like the people in your life right maybe your family maybe whoever you live with will just be like no 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 capricorn stay here you know be comfortable here right and that's the way of blocking towards your success the six of wands is the victory card the public spotlight card something's trying to come in and interfere with that and i say it could be unintentional capricorn right because it could just be a situation where someone might just be miss you really badly and they don't want you to move on right so but that still by trying to keep you to stay that still kind of blocks you from your uh manifestation what it is like you're trying to build up to right so that's why I, like make it a point to say like i don't feel like it could be just something where it's just like someone aggressively trying to be like sabotaging your plans uh capricorn so i hope that makes sense so now cappy let's get into what is going on for your social situations this week when i say social this can be your romantic situation this can be your platonic situation right uh capricorn this you know work for life family friends what have you anything you're just your social connections darling let's see what's going on here eight of air eight of swords so it definitely is talking about someone that's kind of keeping you trapped down keeping you locked down on some level capricorn this card says an illusion of being trapped a lack of self-confidence and afraid to take action right yeah there's some type of person in your life capricorn where it's just like you don't want to take up on this really good opportunity for yourself because you're afraid of how someone's going to react you're worried about how someone's going to perceive you or what have you but it's like you got to do this capricorn you really got to do this right let's get some clarifiers we have the wheel of fortune coming in here the nine of pentacles in the reverse this is literally blocked like there's some type of person in your life i love how this reading's turning out in the sense of like how affirming this message and like how it's all going together capricorn but you gotta let go of this thing that's blocking your 
lock in your success, darling. It's one of those things is like you need of where you tell the person or you tell the situation is like you either need to move out of the way or I'm gonna run you over. <laughs> sort of thing, right? Because remember, as I said, like there's this situation, there's going to be some uh, energy in your life this week, Capricorn, that tries to keep you back, that tries to, you know, that resistance, right? So that resistance seems to be where it's just like this person being like, oh, no, stay, stay, stay. Knight of Swords, it feels like they can very much so easily get in your head or kind of put some thoughts in your head while you're feeling motivated, right? You know, uh, instilling fear or anxiety that wasn't there before. Um, as well as the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. It feels like, yeah, Capricorn, someone's time is just up that's been in your current space, right? Some There's something, there's some type of ticking clock and you're, something's kind of dried up and done for at this point. I feel as if Capricorn, you've kind of just, this is showing to me that you've just outgrown somebody. And, you know, with the wheels of time ch uh, changing or continuously going, like naturally people just part ways and people, the way they grow just are in different paths, different sections in their life. And it feels like that's kind of just what it is. It feels like you've outgrown a situation or that you've outgrown a person, really Capricorn. So very interesting for that. Let's now get into Capricorn, your... Uh, financial and career situation this week. Let's see what's going on there. The ego card. Okay. This is the devil card in normal tarot. Archangel Jophiel, number six for numerology. So write down the number six to look up later. If you're open to connecting to archangels as well, Capricorn, if your spiritual practices allow that, uh, Archangel Jophiel is reaching out to you this week. This card says, though, a false sense of entrapment, being overtly focused on the material things, and negative or fear-based thoughts. So this is definitely going to be a situation where... This is, Something's intimidating you in terms of your financial spectrum, in terms of your work spe spectrum. Something's intimidating you or giving you a sense of anxiety. Let's get into this. Emperor card coming in here. Do you feel like you're not going to be up for the task or like the lack of confidence in some way? There's some type of, I feel like your confidence is being impacted in some way this week. I don't know if you're progressive, like if I'm observing a Capricorn in the progressive buildup of a money block of some sort. Um, or perhaps maybe you recently had the opportunity, like with this opportunity, right, um, that we were talking about in your general portion, right, you're offered up some type of opportunity and maybe you're worried about if you're good enough to handle it, uh, Capricorn. Five of cups in the reverse. So this is what's scaring you, right? There's almost this sense of you really want, I feel like you want to move on from something. You want to do something greater, build something more words, like as the emperor, be more independent. But it's almost like you would have naturally, you would have to make time for it, right? You don't want to pull the trigger and perhaps leave a situation, old thing um, with this five of cups in reverse. You don't want to change up something in your current financial situation because it just seems scary to you. Ten of wands, right? It's almost like you have such a heavy attachment to like, you can't quit your nine to five because you need the nine to five money. But at the same time, you want you have this strong desire to be self-employed and do something else, but you don't have the time. Hanged man coming in as well. So your perspective ends up being changed, but it's only through action, right? You kind of have to just go in head first um, and kind of see this thing through and end up seeing the sun, right? I always say when it comes to the hanged man, like the, the individual who's walking up and <laughs> to that point, right? It doesn't look promising. They only see the sun once they actually commit to it and end up getting hung hung right on this side of things so it's one of those things where it's like you take the chance uh capricorn and you're just like it may not look promising darling you may not like it's definitely not something that you're going to confident like feel extremely confident in all the time but it's one of those things where it's like once you actually commit to it and things start playing out you'll be so happy that you took that risk in the first place capricorn but yeah, this is the tarot reading that I have for you this week today, um, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed this tarot reading. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments below, darling. Give this video a like and subscribe if you did enjoy this reading. Um, if you would like to book a personal private reading with me, Capricorn, I have my website uh, down below. It's just simply velka.com. If you'd like to connect with me on any of my social medias, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, darling, Facebook, anything, you name it, I got it probably. It's all just simply velka. Um, and also, if you have a friend that's into tarot, Capricorn, send them one of my videos and maybe they'll find a message that resonates with them. Remember that I do have my Discord uh, channel
channel up now. If you'd like to join, join before the giveaway ends so you can win a private reading with me. Um, but yeah, I hope I can connect with you sometime in the near future, Capricorn. I love you so much.